up on the river and as you can see it's dark and just a little to, bit we're going to do some <laughs> night larking and also we've brought a secret weapon with us we have it? yeah very secret tool that won't be so secret in just a second but we might the same place. yeah we've we brought a pair of uv torches along so we're on the hunt for some radioactive finds on the foreshore tonight so let's get searching we're very excited and um come on let's do it found our first bead because just scanning with the oh, oh wow. and look at that so just look scanning along that. with this and you wouldn't even be able to recognize that it glowed no. at all look wow. oh my goodness and it's huge i know look at the size of it that's crazy okay so i'm gonna kind of like try and prop the torch up I'll hold the torch. oh my goodness it's whole it's massive. <laughs> Look at it glow. That definitely wow. looks radioactive. That is radioactive. <laughs> it's literally radioactive. That's amazing. We shine the normal torch on it. You can see, it, I can feel some kind of pattern. Oh yeah, look. It has some kind of, um, yeah, some kind of pattern on it as well. Oh, cool. It just looks like white. Normal, like, it's almost like pearlescent. How cool is that? Our first... Uranium find is the most amazing bead. Wow. What does this say? It says Royal Pudding Mold. Oh, that's quite interesting. That's obviously what that was then. Just found a pair of feet down here. <laughs> a little pair of Kiwi doll feet. I think that's what they are. And there's a little bead. I think it's a little ceramic bead. Okay, and I think I've spotted something hiding under here. You can't hide from me when you glow like that. You should get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> what have you got? I don't know. I've, I've got no free hands. What is it? What it is it? Is it a bead? Can you pull it out? Hold on. I've got a torch. Where is it? There, there. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, I think it is. It's a bead. It's a bead. Looks like Look. a bead. No, I think it is. It's a bead. And it glows. Oh, it glows. Look at it glowing. Radio nuts. Your first radioactive bead of the day. Of the night. Of the <laughs> night, rather. Yeah, look at that. It just looks like plain white. And then you In put reality. This on it. And then. Whoa. Oh, I love this. This is fun. That's crazy. Let's get some more. Yeah. And there are some really lovely pieces of slag glass here. Look at that. Look at ripples in it. I think I might keep that one. A button. And this bottle is such a shame. It's pouring ink but uh, it's all smashed at the top. Such a shame. I don't know what this is. It looks like something there. Part of a figurine or something. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's a it looks like it's a sailor with no head. Oh, a sailor or something. Oh, what a shame. So I've given him a bit of a wash and it actually looks like he had been smoking a pipe when he had a head. 
It's a man leaning against something, smoking his pipe. I wish I had his head. I might take that. It's quite interesting. Oh, actually, look at that. It looks like a little pea. But it's a bead. It's a lovely little green glass bead. That's pretty. It's a really pretty red lens there, but it's a bit knackered. It's a bit battered up. But I wonder if you'd be able to melt that down and make some really pretty beads out of it. Beautiful like pale pinkish red beads. I'll take that. Bit of a figurine. I don't think it has its head. Oh. Oh. Oh, that would have been cute. Just found this big clay pipe down here. It's just a bowl, but it's a nice big chunky one. It's really chunky. Oh, that looks like a really sweet little button. Look. Oh, it is. It's beautiful, like, it's like pearlescent and it's gilded around the edge. Oh, that's really cute. I don't think it's too old, but it's very nice. <laughs> It's a cute little find and over here uh, another one of those little baking beans as we think we are, they are. It's an old theory we've had for a while that these little clay balls are for blind baking and we find them quite regularly so. Okay I swear I found something there. See that glowy thing in the middle of the screen? It looks like it could be quite interesting, so let's have a look. There. Oh my goodness. It's a bead. Oh yes, it's like shimmery. I found one just like this before. I found one of these, almost identical. Oh, that's so pretty. Some kind of pressed glass bead. Wow. I like that. Good find. It's very pretty. Just spotted something down here. Hmm. Not sure what that's off. Could be off a watch or something, but I like it, so I'm going to keep it. Now there's something here, can you see it? I'm not sure if it is what I think it is, but it might be. Here. And it is. <laughs> it's a doll's head. Oh, it's quite nice. It's got its shoulders missing, but the whole head is still there. Love it. And this is part of a crystal. Of a chandelier. It's broken, but might be able to grind the end off. Cool. All right, so I'm just using the UV torch to find anything UV and look at, look at this. <laughs> That's pretty much, uh, Radioactive. Okay, need my other torch. Look at that. That is shining. If I get my other torch, hang on. You can see that it's just a piece of white. It's like just a normal piece of white glass. But we know it isn't. It has secret. Okay. I have to turn my other torch off. Hang on a sec. So, here, I would never have spotted this. It's a bead. But it's only half a bead. Just half a bead. But it's shining. Look. 
it's an ultraviolet bead. We can make um, a cabochon out of that. Look at that glowing there. That's really UV. Look at that. Fantastic. I found something here that I recognise the shape of. It's making a shadow. It's a clay pipe. That is a big chunky one. Look at that. It's slightly later than Victorian, I'd say 1920s, even 1930s. I'm still smoking them. And of course there, mini bottle. Get all the gunk out of it. Oh, I found low. I found one of these before. It's a little like um, bisque sailor's boy or something, but they never have any head. I found like two of them. Oh, maybe one day. What's that? Oh, I think it's a bit of a doll's head, some hair. Seems to be quite a few things around here. Look, ha, more radioactive finds. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Well, it's glass, but look at that. It's sort of white on the outside and clear in the middle. Strange. I like it. And down here is a tiny little bottle and it's whole and you know that's one of my favourite finds. Spot the find. Yep, it's a bottle stop but it's half a one but we still have use for these. Yes we do. Okay so there are a lot of berries lying around but I don't think this is a berry. I think this is a bead. Yes it is, look. It's a bead, a beautiful, beautiful red bead. And just to prove my point, there are the said berries. <laughs> There's another bit. Wow, glowy. Odd metal thing. Got a little lead toy wheel thing. And this. It's like a little mini handle of something. I wonder if you could make something with that. Just another little bead. It's a little blue one. Oh no, don't wash away. Ta da! Okay, so it's shining along around my UV torch and I don't know if you can see it from here right down there that interesting green glow and I'm really hoping it's going to be a little bead let's have a look it is, oh I think it is oh. there we go it is a little uranium glass bead. Radioactive beads, what more could you want? How cool is that? I wonder what colour it is. I can't tell. Okay, it looks like it's a kind of green colour. Cool. It's a little brass button just waiting for me on top of this rock. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. What's this? I'm not sure, but I like it. Okay, so I found two tiles and I'm really glad, but also not glad because now I'm going to have to carry them and they're really heavy. But I love them. I've, I'm collecting loads and I'm actually going to tile the back kitchen floor with them. <laughs> the back porch, so yeah, Victorian tiles. And down here looks like a bottle. Yeah. One of my favourite little bottles. I wonder how many cakes were mixed in that mixing bowl. What is this? Oh, look at that. That's quite lovely actually. might be able to do something with that. Massive piece of spongeware bowl. Oh, that's lovely. I absolutely adore spongeware. Down here is a fork. <laughs> nickel? Nickel silver? Perhaps. This piece of orange glass has a bit of a strange like orange glow to it. I wonder what that is. Does that mean it's uranium? Okay, so scanning with the UV torch. This is what it looks like. Looks quite a lot more blue on camera than it does in real life but I shone the torch down there and can you see that little bright orb right in the middle of the screen anyway I'm pretty sure it's a bead this little uranium bead wow it is look how bright that's so bright you can see it very well. <laughs> the way it's glowing. There she is. Wow. That's really glowing really brightly. Cool. Just found myself a nice pipe bowl down here. Oh, it has something on it. It's a nice chunky one. Breen? I think that's Breen. Cool. 
And up here, what's that? I spy a bottle stop. And a tiny but very pretty little yellow bead down here. Oh. Many. Okay, there's something very bright up there. Wow, it's another bit of glass. Incredible. But we're going to display all these UV pieces in a jar at home. And maybe with a UV light, so it's going to be a really pretty display. And down here, looks like we've got another chunky pipe. Oh, I think it's the same make as the one I just found as well. Cool. Actually, I was just scanning the surface and I found another pipe bowl down there. I just walked past it. Don't tell me it's the same. It's the same as the last two I just found. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It's exactly the same as the last two I just found. <laughs> Still, I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay, I came down here. I literally just sat down and just plonked myself. And then look what I just spotted reaching out from behind this rock. <sighs> little doll's arm. Not sure what it's made of. Oh my goodness, it's complete. It's whole. Oh, I thought it was broken. Oh wow, it's like a little baby's arm. Wow. Bisque porcelain, I think it's German. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Can you spot it? And yes, it's a cod marble. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this pipe. It's not whole, but it's practically whole. Look at that. And it's got words on it, which I cannot read in this light. And the camera's having trouble focusing in this light as well. That's a funny shape, look at that. I love it. Yeah, I don't know what this is. What on earth could it be? It's a funny shape as well. It's shaped a bit like a pipe. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. It's a fancy glass pipe. I'm sure we could make something out of that. Christmas-wise. And here I can see a lovely button. Look at that, mother of pearl. That's so pretty. A little bottle stop. That's cute. Another bottle stopper. Okay, I just found another McCracken find down here. I know what it is already. It's a pipe, but it is a special pipe because it's a child's bubble pipe with a birdie on. Oh my goodness. It's like painted green. Oh wow. Oh, that is so beautiful. I've not found a pipe, a colored pipe before. Never found a colored pipe Oh, and I'm, I'm, oh, we can use that for printing and clay. Oh, mum's going to love it as well. Oh, that's a beautiful find. I'm glad I came down here and plonked myself down. Sometimes it's worth just sitting down. That's how you find some of your best stuff. Plonk yourself down and just look really close up at the ground. Because it pays off. I love that. Right, we're gonna do some more searching around down here, I think. Sitting in the dark again, because 
bam huge chunk of radioactive glass down here oh wow look at that that's crazy it's just it's so beautiful the way it glows like that is incredible radioactive glass that's so cool <laughs> it's so cool to see it at night okay down here pipe bowl it's a big chunky one they're all quite chunky around here because they're all workman's pipes chunky i mean it'd be difficult to carry that in your mouth between your lips you'd have to bite it with your teeth I suppose that's why all their teeth are kind of worn down. <sighs> cool. Oh look, down here it's one of those fish things. Oh, what are they called? Mum knows what they are. They're like thorns. The thorny bit's broken off. They're like, I think they're like a kind of shark and they're endangered in the UK because during the early late 19th, early 20th century they were hunted to near extinction around the British Isles and that's one of their scales I think but I can't remember I'll have to ask mum she's just up there see her glowing <sighs> hello got a nice little pipe bowl down here you pick it up my hands are full Oh, Ooh, it's like the shape of the one that you found. Similar. Yeah. They're weird. I've not seen one like that before. Just found a tiny, pretty little green bead down here. It is pretty. It's beautiful. Isn't it? You don't often find clear, like, translucent green ones. Oh, They're I usually blue. It. It's a bit wonky. Like me. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little ink bottle. That's quite cute. Oh, might take that. Might not. I've just found this mug and it's broken. It's like a little child's mug. I can't hold the... It's Little Miss Muffet. And Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. And along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> <laughs> there's Miss Muffet, look. And there's the little spider that's coming to sit down beside her. <laughs> oh, that's quite cute, isn't it? It's a pity it's broken. Oh, I know, but I really like the spider. You could cut that bit out. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I think I'm going to take that. Well. Can you spot it from here? Up there. Oh yeah. Can you see it? Up. Let's investigate. Yeah. Yes. It's oh, a it's a leg. <laughs> it's a leg. It's a leg. Oh look. Toes, toes. Oh no, it's toes broken off. It's wearing a little red boot. It's funny how we. Oh. I know. Spotted that leg at fifty paces. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that though. It's cute. A little red shoe. Oh, and I've got a bead. A ceramic bead that I forgot to show you. <laughs> Mum's, Mum's falling over in the background. Whipped out the UV torch again and I think we've hit Lucky with another UV bead. I can't... Oh. I can't see a hole in it, so it might be a melted UV bead, but it's interesting. I think it might have a hole in it. It's a bit damaged. Look at that glow. Isn't it beautiful? It's magical. And radioactive. <laughs> Just found this naked little body. <laughs> and oh, it's a frozen Charlotte. She will be frozen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's a hole on her bottom. Oh. <laughs> what? 
there's a hot what <laughs> oh my goodness never found a frozen charlotte like that before it'd be nice to find a whole one i mean i'm not sure what's going on there but uh yeah interesting find i think it's another play kite down here but i think I know, I found it's loads necklace. of pipes. I think, yeah, I think it's mum's necklace, because look. It's another one. It's oh. another, it's another child's bubble pipe. Oh, wonderful. With a bird on it. That is so cool. How comes I found two? I've never found one of these before. And then, and then you find two. And then two come we along at once. A, one of those elephants. No. Find a load. I think it's mum's necklace. I think it's this. Let's have a look. Whoa. It's, there it is. It's this. That's it. That's what's bringing the pipe luck today. <laughs> There's a cog. Cheeky cog. We always take a cog. What's that? Oh, I think it's the end of like a slipper. ceramic slipper just picked something up here with the UV torch and I don't think it's actually UV I just think it's sparkly that thing there right I'm gonna have to put my torch on head torch right let's have a look oh hey, yes it is sparkly oh <laughs> that is pretty it's had a loop on the top, but it's broken, unfortunately. I like that. Shiny. Oh, treasure. Unfortunately, I think it's just a bead this time. Lots of uranium here. See the glow? Okay, so we're scanning with the UV torch and look down here. We've got a little something. <laughs> glowing. A little glowing, glowing thing. A little glowing thing. What is it? Wait, I'll get my torch. Oh, oh my, my goodness. <gasps> it's a little bird. Yeah, it's a little is it? Is that what it is? It's a, a, a Nike brother. It's scratch, a Nike. I'm sure it oh is. my goodness. Wow. No. Look. Look at it glow! It's Look. a little Niger Brothers parrot. Oh my goodness. It is. It's a little bird. It's a little parrot. Oh, oh it's wow. the wrong way around. It's that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's holding it upside down. Isn't that cute? It's a parrot or a What owl? is it? Like an owl? Or a parrot? Oh, no. um, that's the best bead. I love it. it I love wins. it. It wins. Look, look at it glow. Wow, Look that's at that crazy. glow. Yeah, I'm so pleased we brought the torches because we would have never seen that. It just we looks like a blob. It looks like a blob of nothing. Wow, that's good. Fantastic. Yay. <sighs> that's amazing. Oh, there's a stopple bopper. Oh. Okay, so mum's just spotted this beautiful, well, it's not beautiful right now, but this this brass picture frame how cool is that we can use that maybe we could put a picture in it if we fix it up i think we've got another uv bead on our hands look down there hide in between the cracks let's get it there's another uv bead down here Oh, it's it's only half of a bead. Oh, well, there's oh, the other half. The other half. Hey. Oh wow, what are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> oh That's my like, goodness. There's another one down there. Okay, so we have the whole bead, so yeah, we can look. fix that. Yeah, look. We'd never have seen that, would we? No, never have seen that. Wow, look at that. My hat, my skin looks hideous. <laughs> and. Oh, it looks hideous in real life. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real shame this is broken because it's really interesting. I think that might have said something. I don't know. 
But look, it's got little scenes on. I can't remember what these are called. It's got little doggies on the bottom, look. Running. It's some kind of hunting mug, but it's like a miniature version. And there's a stamp on the bottom there as well. So I might just take that. Oh, and down there looks like a bead. Yes, it is a little white bead. Okay, so Mum's found something strange down here. What is that? I don't know, but it's so deep under the ground, I can't even budge it. Oh my goodness. It must be big. <laughs> I can't move it. Is this off the end? I don't know. Can't even it move is it. solid in there. It's like, it's not even wiggling, is it? No. I wonder. Oh my goodness, I was using the UV torch and well, something showed up down here. <sighs> Didn't it? And when I went to see what it was, I just touched it. It's a whole human tooth. It's a whole human molar. <sighs> oh, that's grim. Oh, looks like it's got a nasty, nasty cavity in there as well. Oh no. That's cool. Horrid, but cool. And it'll go in our teeth collection. Now look, you can find teeth with UV torches. Who knew? And actually down here, I've just found a horse tooth. I think it's a horse. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and I found a horse one with the UV light. And down here, um, probably the final find of the day is an Irish pipe. Although it wouldn't have been made in Ireland, it would have been made here for the Irish um, settlers that came over and Irish workers. workers. Yeah. How cool is that? Okay, as we were leaving, look what I spotted. This amazing piece of spongeware with birds on Isn't it. Isn't that beautiful? We've never so seen anything like done. that. We've not seen anything like that before. Mm. All the, the colours and the little wings. And two stopper bobbers, of course. But yeah, love that bit of pottery. It's all interesting. Here are our finds from our amazing nighttime radioactive mudlark. Yeah, and of course, now you can see them all in their full glory in the daylight. So uh, clean. <laughs> this is all of our UV glass. And as you can see, most of it is kind of greenish, um, kind of yellowish tinted. But we're going to look at that a little bit later when the sun goes down. And this isn't all of it. We, there was so much we couldn't possibly bring it all. Yeah, we only took the smaller bits and pieces um, that we can kind of display maybe in like a jar or something. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we'll definitely be showing that a little, bit, a little bit later on. But we've got some great bottle stops. We've got loads of clay pipes, but we're only gonna talk about a few clay pipes. Um, we've got ones here that I should just mention later, earlier on I said they were Breen, it's O'Brien. Yeah. And we've already done the history of these pipes before. Yeah. It says O'Brien 61. I can't remember it actually. They're much later than the um, the pipes we usually find, which are the tenants' pipes. Yeah. 
Yeah, so these are like early 20th century clay pipes, aren't they? Probably 1930s. So yeah, we've we've done a little bit about those before anyway. And of course we've got these two over here, which we absolutely love. These two little oh, pipes. these are amazing. <laughs> little birds on them and one's green. One's pa actually painted green. And, and we can use these, can't we, to make stamps? Oh yeah, of course. That's what I was excited about. So it's funny, I've never found one before and then two come along at once. Isn't that weird? Yeah, and of course these aren't tobacco pipes. These are bubble pipes for children. Yeah, kids would have used these. Because if we look inside, there's no evidence in there of burning and um, of course this one is painted green so and they're quite a lot smaller than a yeah look than a mid you know than a turn of the century pipe would be a lot bigger than that yeah and actually we've got i just spotted this in the window one of our pipe impressions if you haven't seen them already so we'll be able to use these to impress into clay like this that's, well, that's from one of these. Oh yeah, that's actually from that. But this has been in a fire. It's absolutely yeah, so crusty. Yeah, look at that. So there, you can see it better on the other side. There, look. That is that. Ta-da! Of course, anyway. these pipes <laughs> were made for the Irish workers that came over from Ireland to work in Britain. Okay, so we've got a few cooking finds over here, and we think most of these are baking beans for putting in a pastry dish on top of your pastry to hold it down while it's baking in the oven. And then another find over here, this strange... Mum found it but forgot to film it, but it's uh, some kind of vintage, like, scrub? Scrubbing yeah, brush or something. Yeah, like, um, a pot scrub, I think. And yeah. Clean Easy the, is a British company and it began in 1923 as a door-to-door -door distribution of high quality brushes and that company is still going today. How cool is that? Yeah. It says clean easy on there. So and the handle's got a K on it. Look. Yeah. Yeah it's quite cool little vintage find there. So we think this is probably from the 1940s. Yeah. Possibly. It's very sharp. Anyway thought that was quite interesting actually. Um, oh, figurine. This is our only figurine. Actually, we might have some bits of figurines down there, but yeah. <laughs> I thought this was quite interesting. I think he might be a sailor, um, but he was smoking a clay pipe. Yeah, look. But Just the stems remaining. <laughs> the ball's broken off, unfortunately. But yeah, he looks like a dandy sailor, doesn't he? With his embellished coat here. Look at that. So, um, yeah, we're, we're thinking of doing something with him, actually, because he's quite funky. Yeah. Like <laughs> we quite like him, yeah. Here are our teeth. And, uh, of course, as you saw in the dark, a human tooth. That hole in that tooth is horrifying. I love That's it. That's a big tooth. It'll go in our human tooth collection. I know this is like a proper big molar, isn't it? That's massive. That's a good chunky old tooth, that. And in comparison to, like, a horse's tooth or maybe a cow's tooth, I'm not sure... Some the front top tooth of a cow or a horse. Yeah, so I think it might be a horse because it's quite old. If you look at the um, discolouring on the back, that's an old tooth. And if it was a cow killed, butchered for eating, they're usually butchered quite young. So I'm guessing that could possibly be a horse tooth. It might be in an old horse that was butchered yeah. for like animal food, like yeah, dog food yeah. or something, because that's what they used to do, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Tooth teeth are cool. Um, we've got some metal finds, some tin lead, um, buttons, mostly mother of pearl. We've got some lovely brass and copper finds, including a cog and a beautiful brass button that's come up really nicely. And then we've got our favourite finds, of course, some of our favourite finds that we find while we're out and about. This one's actually a button, not a bead, but um, this one, it's funny because it's blue, it's not, ra it's not radioactive, it's not got uranium in it. Um, but it just so happened to be almost identical to one of the uranium beads I yeah, found in design. I wonder if it was on the same necklace, but only a few of the beads were the uranium glass beads. Yeah, it might have been. And we've got, obviously, a few more really pretty, all different colours of glass beads, including this strange little dangly thing here that I, I like. like. That. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> Um, but of course, our star finds of the day have to be down here. Beads. So we've got how many whole ones? One, two, three, four, five, six whole ones. Um, we've got half one here, which we can use as a cabochon in a ring. Yeah, and then a melted one. Yeah, 
that's pretty <laughs> melted <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah it's pretty knackered isn't it and then we've got our best bead. Yeah, our star find. Oh, and yeah. we would never have picked this up because it just looked like... Does that look like a bead? It like, doesn't look, doesn't like, look anything, like a bead. It doesn't look like a bead. Just a, a fragment of something. So, yeah, it's um, a Niger Brothers um, parrot bead. Yeah, and we know this because we actually found a Niger Brothers necklace with different animals on, fish and, like, butterflies and elephants and, of course the parrots as well on well, we the say, same necklace we say found but we found online not, oh yeah not, not found on, not, on, not on, yeah um but this is probably one of my favorite beads we've ever found oh, look at it because not only is it in the shape of a bird and i love birds it's uranium glass and yeah. it's niger brothers and i love all three of those yeah, things definitely so this is definitely probably the highlight of this mudlark and it's the reason why we actually went with the UV torches yeah, yeah, to yeah. find things just like this. So I'm really pleased. I think we're going to do it again. Oh yeah, definitely. We have to do it again. Oh, it's worth mentioning this bead here. This is the first one we found and it's the largest one. Look at the size of it. And it, it glows amazingly. If you look on the inside, it's got um, rust stains. And yeah, it does. It's been on a metal yeah on on iron isn't it yeah maybe it's like part of an earring or something yeah. or i don't know but it's lovely it's beautiful. it's great condition and yeah we're very happy with our little collection down here very happy so our non-uranium glass is down here it's worth mentioning because look how beautiful it is yeah it's so gorgeous. many colors look at that one there that is amazing we've got loads of like czech glass here look at all this spatter glass different colors and this one here i think is part of a table centerpiece and it would have had these sticking out around um oh, okay. little vases from a, a big fancy centerpiece unfortunately it looks victorian uranium, but it's not it does look very UV because it's that pale greenish colour, but it's not. Some amazing colours to make beads oh, with. Oh, I know. We're very excited. And this is part of a bottle stop. Probably a ground one, but it's all broken. Um, part of a chandelier or a vase. Yeah, it would have been gone along. Decoration. Round the edge of a vase, yeah. And this is a piece of slag glass. There's a few pieces there, but this piece particularly caught my eye because it it's a lovely shape yeah very drip, drippy and blobby and of course we have our collection of small bottles we can't resist picking these up and we have some lovely examples once again of spongeware and this one in particular is amazing mm. what a pity we it hadn't broken a bit further down and then yeah. we'd have the whole bird on there but it's absolutely gorgeous Maybe we could copy that pattern, Alex. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a good, it's an absolutely beautiful example of Scottish spongeware. Isn't it? In all its glory, really. But yeah, it's a shame it's such a tiny fragment. And this one here is a bigger fragment. Um, and on the inside, you can see where someone's been using um, a tool in there, yeah. like a fork. Maybe they've been mashing potato in it because all the little marks have been made by the same thing. Yeah, they're all the same size and shape, aren't they? Yeah. But that would have been lovely when it was whole. What a fascinating bit of detective work that is, though. <laughs> that you just spotted those little marks. Yeah. Little signs of use like that make it, you know, bring these finds to life, don't they? Yeah. Um, Another piece there, the mm -hmm. pretty pattern. Oh, I like this. I forgot to film it. Cumberland rum butter, I'm guessing that said. Yeah. Made something with that milk. Milk. <laughs> but you could cut out the word rum. Yeah, you could. Oh, look, there's a little partridge. Oh, she's so sweet. It's Brown anyway. Shrew's new friend. Yeah, Brown Shrew's got a friend. A wild partridge comes every day now. <laughs> but oh, and this, I took this um, because I want to cut out that spider, basically. I think yeah. that would make a cool necklace. The spider in the web. Yeah, maybe the girl's head, but I like the spider. <laughs> it's little Miss Muffet, of course. Yeah. And we've started collecting egg cups. Um, if they're not too broken, we can grind the top down. We can do all sorts of things with these. So mm. we've got something planned, haven't we? A few, yeah. few ideas, actually. We do. Because um, we find these as well. 
Yeah. We we originally thought they were kiln stilts, but we think they're out of gas fires now, don't yeah, we? Gas heaters or gas lights or something. Yeah, yeah. things like that, gas related. But look at this, look. Whoop. Yeah. Ah. Looks, something to do with one of our ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this here is um Royal Dalton actually. Yeah. And and that's a fine stoneware miniature harvest jug. And it's had something written on it, but we don't know what, um, whether it was made for a hotel or yeah. advertising something. It's, it must have been hit pretty hard to break because look how thick that stoneware yeah, is. It is really thick. But um, it would be nice. I'm not sure if we'd be able to do it, but it would be nice to cut out some of these little scenes, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Can you imagine that? It's like a piece of jewel, like a necklace. And those little dogs. But the thing is, it's so thick, might not be possible, but... Yeah, we'll try, though. Yeah. And then we have doll and figurine parts, and yeah. Alex found that amazing big arm. Oh, yeah, this big baby arm. <laughs> I think it's German. German made that one. Sticking out from behind a rock. <laughs> and then there's a kind of frozen Charlotte body. Okay, this is a little bit strange, this one. Not find yeah. anything like it before, have we? No, because if you look through the neck, it's hollow. And then if you turn it around, <laughs> yes, there's a hole in its bottom. Yes. And the um, uh, water yeah. goes right through from the neck and out that way. So <laughs> we don't know <laughs> if it was just a thing. Maybe it had a mouth that you could um, feed it and it came out the other end. I mean, there's modern dolls like that. Yeah, there they? is. You feed them and then they, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, maybe it was something similar. It's definitely been some kind of child's toy, though. But yeah. it does look a bit dodgy i'm not gonna lie let's <laughs> let's yeah that's what we're all thinking definitely looks dodgy and then there's a lovely leg but the toes missing mm, but yeah we, we shame can fix that can't we yeah it's had a, a sort of red sandaly shoe on it it's quite cute it's quite a nice like refined one isn't it yeah and a doll head oh and this is our first blonde doll head um, the blondes kind of come off when we tried to get some of the staining off the back. But yeah, it's our first blonde one, which is interesting. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Shrew likes a little bit of UV glass as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so huge wealth of finds this time. And it's quite surprising since most of these were found in the dark. I know. Just I can't torches. We found so much in the actual dark. It's crazy, isn't it? I wasn't expecting to find so much other than just what we were. Do you know what I think? It for. concentrates your sight onto a small area, yeah. so you're concentrating more. Definitely. Yeah. Anyway, we can't really appreciate the uranium glass in the daylight, can we? No, we can't. Hmm. Okay then. Hold on. Uranium glass was used as early as 79 AD as part of a mosaic in a Roman villa in Italy. But uranium was first identified as a chemical element in 1789 by German chemist Martin Klaproth. And soon after, uranium oxide was added to glass mixes before melting as a common colorant for achieving greens and yellows. James Powell's Whitefriars Glassworks in London was one of the first to market the glowing glass. It was also produced by glass manufacturers in the Czech Republic, Austria and Germany, and later in North America. Uranium glass is radioactive. Levels of uranium by weight vary between 2% up to 25% in some 20th century examples. However, the levels of radioactivity are only trace amounts. Most uranium glass is considered harmless, only registering slightly above background radiation. Uranium was banned for the use in glass during the Cold War from the 1940s up until the 1990s. By now it was recognised as a dangerous element and a component in making atom bombs. Access was restricted primarily for military reasons. The British government confiscated large quantities of glass making materials just after the war. Today, uranium glass is only manufactured by artisans on a small scale. It's also known as Vaseline glass, and this comes from the fact that its colour resembles Vaseline petroleum jelly. Of course, there are other 
petroleum jelly brands on the market. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not actually the radioactivity in uranium glass that makes it glow. And even if the radioactivity was completely depleted, the uranium would still fluoresce under UV light. Oh, so that's okay. interesting as well. Yeah, so they don't glow because they're radioactive. That's no. just a property of uranium itself. If something glowed because it was radioactive, then that would be very, very that, dangerous. Yeah, that wouldn't be very good for you, would it? Yeah. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but that's really cool. It's really cool to learn about. I mean, I think we've done a little bit about UV, uranium glass before in the past. Yeah. But it was really cool to kind of dedicate this episode to um, finding yeah. it and looking for it and the history of it. A radioactive mudlark. Yeah. Okay, so we've had an amazing day. We but sure night. Have. <laughs> night. We've had an amazing night. Night larking, and we found some great stuff, I think. Some amazing stuff. What's your favourite? I think it's quite easily going to be the little parrot. I absolutely love that. Parrot or owl? Owl, maybe. But it's a bird. You guys <laughs> have seen it nice and cleaned up. We haven't yet. No, we haven't seen it yet, so you're lucky. <laughs> Anyway, on that note, we're going to say goodbye and a great big thank you to everyone who has donated, everyone who's liked the video, subscribed, and of course, every all of our wonderful patrons help to keep our channel going. So, on that note, we'll see you again next, next week. Sunday. Bye. Bye.